right. Let's get this started. We'll start off with some Mario Party today, and then afterwards we'll play some Mario Party. with the car. That's what I was thinking of doing, actually. Alright. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna be... shake things up again today, and I'm gonna be boo. turn game. Alright. Oh no, team map's done solo. <laughs> turn should I do then? I mean, I normally do 30, but... <laughs> That's what me to do, and you know I'm to not worry about. for no reason. Let's go last. Do I know this game or what? Yeah. 
This mode, all right. I mean, I always prefer the uh, classic Mario Party, of course. But there it is. Hey, Uber Lord, thank you for the host. Here's a coin for the host. Turn game with, the, with this board, but by orders of Kirby, we are doing a 51. Cutting it down in half. noticed with uh, this partner party mode is that the AI will never use the warp box items <laughs> for some reason like no matter what difficulty they're on they'll never use the warp box items you remember this board you remember how this board went for you and it was hilarious That juice box says our first mini game of today. Twenty footstools in a single board. Nice. Ah, oh, I just found it too. The game can be kind of unfair sometimes. Like the correct, uh, Ready? it's kind of luck-based in a way. The correct, the correct uh, set of fruit that you have to find can just like show up right in front of you. you just make it too easy for you. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had Mario on my team. Character Rosalina was in Star Rush. I don't remember that. I don't remember what Rosalina was like in Star Rush. Like, I don't remember her dice. You, said, oh, you just gotta talk with your partner about when you try using it now. What happened do we even have? We have the big block card. So, might as well use it now. <laughs> Mm, 
Nope. No star points. Did we get 12 points? says question mark for the spell hook for me. Oh, Mario got it. Uh, maybe I'll actually stay down here to... Four of her six numbers are your position in the party, so if you're front one the entire match, she gets, I believe, a two, three, one, 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 one. Oh, uh, right. So. Oh, it doesn't even matter because we're not in the key right now. Okay. Maybe I can just squish Bowser. First star for us. It'll be all do quickly. Alright. I have uh, apparently I have a friend of my friends list named uh, Wall Star. <laughs> There's a good thing I came up here then. It starts that way. Alrighty, mini a game. No, oh, bad one. This one's bad. Go first, Joy. Start. I did it. <laughs> so that's how it works, huh? Winners. Still don't like that mini game.
you know, adversity basically allows you to set the pace of the game, too. Hey, bad luck spaces that very rarely come into play. Like, why does Kamek even bother to set them up? And they don't happen very often. Like, even in regular Mario Party, the bad luck spaces aren't very common. Mario's been poisoned! <laughs> what you gonna get? You're gonna get shy guy, aren't you? Bowser Jr. Aren't you, Jr.? Aren't you, Jr.? Junior. No, you're not. I'm not. I'm going straight to the store. Did you actually land on it? Oh, I got Rosalina in there. Oh, not there yet. Alright, now they can only use two items because they're not going to use that warp box at all. <laughs> not just that they aren't common, but also that their effects are minutes and they go away after one activation. Dice block too often, so I don't really even know. No. When he closes his eyes, he's so adorable. Look at the way he closes his eyes. <laughs> That's cute. Ah. Boo's kind of OP in this game. Space. Oh, I feel better about using the blue dark force inside the ally now. So now what might happen if you'll take me with you. Hang on. Shadow is not your ally. Boo, Wario, Waluigi, and Bowser are the uncontested kings in this game. Is that so? I know Wario's got like the all six dice block with the. Uh, I can't remember if it was minus two or minus three. Minus, minus two or minus three, come on. To the line! That's it, I tore the line at monkeys. Get my agent on the phone! That's not how that line, line went, but whatever. I don't like doing this one with an AI partner. Start. Oh, Mario. that after this. Yay! Okay. See, the minus two was powerful and stylish, but in a game like the game is super, it means almost nothing. Ready? True. You can get a lot of coins in this game. I can get a lot of stars, too. But that's because the boards are so small compared to other Mario parties. Like, I think even last game... Last time I streamed this game, I was playing like a 30 turn game of Koopa's Tantalizing Tower. And I got. And I got like 20 stars at the end of the game. <laughs> You're playing like that. Hey, while you wait for the Mario. Testing volume. 
Oh yeah, you gave away so they can't pick me up. <laughs> no, you suck. He is, never mind. Yay! Mario snuck the star from Bowser Jr. Should have my RPG to draw a skinny Mario with a fat wall over it. This magic improvise improv adapt overcome. Hmm. Let's see, Mario's about to get that star. understand why the AI feels the need to pay more than is necessary for the toll. Uh, and they go past that uh, swamp there. Sometimes they put in more co like they put in like so many coins that they make themselves poor and then they can't like afford the star and then or like they can't afford to come go past it later. Comes back to bite them. Mini game. Was it flight school? Nope. Oh well, this isn't taking so bad. I did it! As the CPU is purposely paid tons of... Oh, it's not. As the CPU is purposely paid tons of coins, so players struggle to get through the game. I don't know if it makes sense, but still. Also means that I have to pay a ton too. Winners. But like, even when you're on the same team, it's like, what if your teammate has to get, get through there too? Kind of messes them up too. Oh, yeah. 
Mario Kart 17.20 and Bowser Jr. had 17.92. <laughs> that was a point of one difference. Nice. I didn't even notice that actually. How many coins are actually a uh, Bowser pays here? Cool. Okay, that's not so bad. Like sometimes it'll be like toll toll is four, and then he pays like twelve or something. Oh, I didn't even notice dry bones behind the cage there. <laughs> what you doing hiding there, dry bones? Matching bonus! Ta-da! Ooh, did I get dry bones? Yeah, I got dry bones. One 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 six six six. Dry bones, your dice block is a sim. Put the literal bone next to the metallic bone. <laughs> ah, get potato. Start. It's like a soup. It's like a souped-up version of Hot Bob Bombs from Mario Party One and Two. On my team. Wow, <laughs> they passed it to each other really fast. Oh boy, Boo's all afraid. Yes, reminds me of Bobonic Plague and Seven and my downright cool tactics in that game. I don't remember that one. That must have been the 8 player minigame. I haven't played the 8 player minigames that much in the seven. Yes! Woo! I was the last one standing on my team for like, that whole game and I did it. Ready? Woo! I just mapped the heck out of the button. <laughs> That's what I did. Standing past me, you aren't going on to the next round. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> ha. I bet so. Mouser Jr. using the golden mushroom. Mouser Jr. Smash Bros. Hanouts are as forever ruined how I say some names. <laughs> like every time every time I say a character's name that's in like a character from Smash Bros. I say it like the Smash Bros. announcer says it. I forget that because of how I play there's a two of me on the field. That's two of me on the field. I have two monsters on the field. And I lay down this trap card. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
あたりですあれだーよだーよ Thirteen. Oh, I forgot I had dry bones as a. I actually forgot I had dry bones as a teammate too. I had an ally too. Three, two, one, zero. Yeah. Fifty four. I actually think, uh, I actually have an idea for when I get to Mario Kart later on the stream. I mean, it's not really a big idea, it's just kind of, kind of funny. Well, maybe not fun, maybe not, you know, funny, funny. But... I have a silly idea. I don't know if I can, uh, I don't know if I can do it though. I think I can. Making faces, yay! This is one of my favorite favorite mini games. Oh yes, enslaved meme potential. I should have kept it as is. This is gonna look funny. Oh! Ah, uh, no, I think they won. I messed up the, uh, I didn't get the first dial wrong. Like the, the mouth and the right eye weren't, weren't in necessarily bad spots, but it's, messed up the first dial so bad. Still love that minigame. Really fun. I always like the, uh, Mario Party minigames where you can make funny faces like that. Like facelift from Mario Party 1 and 2, and picture and perfect from Mario Party 3. Also, you have to believe they were inspired by uh, Mario Odyssey when they made that minigame, that making faces minigame. I haven't actually played Mario Odyssey in a while, but I believe there was some kind of little, uh, minigame challenge like that. Actually, there was probably more than one. Like, maybe two or three of them in Mario Odyssey. It's raining cars! Hallelujah! Ooh, we, got a, we have an ally phone. Actually, no, we don't. Wrong team. Uh, let's try that. Oh, uh, dry bones. I almost said Bowser Jr. dry spot. It's a dry bone dry spot. Yeah. 
both along the way. Oh no! Alright, I feel like that might happen. He's gonna kiss me! Oh. Okay, he only took five. There we go. Oh, you need an ally, buddy. Ready? Hey, we got three of those coins back. Alright, candy shakedown! Yay! Another good minigame. Bean candies at it again. Finish. Aww. Winners. Bowser Jr. already have an ally? What if expected Bowser to just punch the job? <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure a warrior could do that too. Hammer bro. Junior, why didn't you let your dad have that ally phone? That's selfish of you. Don't even look like they're holding him. Team Boo. Isn't Junior's whole character selfishly wasting materials on his own schemes only for them to fail miserably? <laughs> That could be the truth. Oh, you see. Uh, dry bones. Why am I going to call this thing? Oh, yeah. Not really what I had in mind, but whatever. Now I'm stuck here again, aren't right. Actually, what I should have done was try and go to one of those other spaces and get an item. Oh well. Hmm. 
perfect fit. Side. Oh, no, we didn't. Winners. We just barely won. <laughs> the background makes me think of a uh, Wii party. And like that one mini game from uh, Mario Party 9 where you had to like uh, balance the little metal ball and like the Simon Says kind of thing. I forget what it was called, but it wasn't Mario, it wasn't Mario Party 9. They're gonna get Yoshi, aren't they? Oh, they can even get Peach. Oh, yeah, they just got Peach. We're not talking about that Mario Party 9 video game. Okay. I don't remember it being bad, but I mean, then again, I haven't played it in a while, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> like a recent, like a few months ago, I did play, I did like replay most of the Mario Party 9 boards. And I did not ever play the, uh, that mini game that we're talking about when I was playing through it again. You got a star! You got the star! You got a star! Oh, yeah. Mario, get Yoshi! Please, don't let them get it. Actually, yeah, Bowser Jr. keeps getting all the allies. I didn't mean to. Oh. Actually, I didn't mean to use Dry Bones Dice Block again. I wasn't thinking. Oh well. Nothing bonus! Yeah, he's not gonna get Yoshi. Oh well. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Sweet! Oh! Yep. Staying up here paid off. <laughs> what turn are we on even on turn number nine? Alright. I'm oh, about to be turn number, turn number ten. Slap Rotsy! Oh bumper brawl. This is a good mini game too. I think I was, I think I was looking at the wrong uh, character the whole time when I was practicing there. I do wish that in this mode the player could take control over the uh, teammates' movements so it wasn't complete RNG that a two-person plan worked. Yeah, that's true. Domination! Winners! Ready?
turn number two. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yep, they're not going for Yoshi. <laughs> Golden drink. much well we're still in the lead by two stars After I uh, get the star. Oh no, I'm bad at this one. I'm bad at this one against AI, uh, uh, Master AI, that is. <laughs> oh. I did it! I thought the game was over. Whatever. Alright, Mario. First and second. Oh, yeah. I mean, I didn't win, but oh, I won at least. It's actually probably the best I've done in that mini game in a while against the Master CPU. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, they do. Actually, that's pancakes. They are, in fact, delicious. Sniped it. Was it Bowser Jr. that got away or was it Bowser? That was Bowser Jr. Well, now I can use that key at least. Kind of sixty nine. Next up, 
It'd be funny if they put it behind a locked door. Obviously they don't they don't do that, but it'd be funny anyway. Alright, Mario. Back to the other side. Or even is Mario. Oh there he is. No, shut up, Toad. I've played this game a million times. Something that like did the right uh, path on it. Open the door. Hello, Homo. Go get it, Mario. Mario's been the star getter of the team. Well, he's got more than I have, at least. I got one, he got two of them. Nutcases! Oh, the back to the net rumble. so that they don't use it. Finish. <laughs> okay, 19. We got 15. Yay, we win. Yeah. And that's all, that's all my three catches. Ready? Yeah. Gadgets and gizmos are plenty. Who's that's and what's that's galore? Think of my bobs, I got 20. Oh, look. Uh, hi, I'm an egg coin, and I want to, and when I grow up, I want to be a tree. Egg coin becomes a tree. I was only get one. Oh no! Well, Golden Pipe isn't as useful here as it is in Mario Party. I mean, you know, regular Mario Party. <laughs> we are playing Mario Party. Anyway. Let's see if I can see a lot Nothing bonus. Actually, it'll be your last three turns after this turn. Four, three, two, one. No, three, two, one. Ha ha. No. Good for the coins too. 
Maybe I should have gone for the versus mini game, actually. Oh well. What? Golden mushroom. I don't even know if Mario got the star. Did he get the star? Okay. Nope. Oh well, I better uh, use that so we can free up space in our <laughs> item thing. Good on, Gauntlet. Nope. Good job, Mario. <laughs> Winners. Ready? You got both of them. We just won the Hammer and Sicka minigame. Mario got both of the big balloons. <laughs> he popped both of the big balloons of the other team. Now on the last three turns. He's Bowser Jr. Let's give him a big turn. He smells victory come from Team Bowser Jr. And it smells like a dirty laundry. Oh, I forgot the double. I forgot about the double card item. Oh boy. Oh, this is gonna be fantastic. Really, bad luck spaces that won't affect any of us. Pom pom. Yes. Hey, Goomba's right behind me. Get a bad roll. Oh look, there's Wario. <laughs> Hi Wario. <laughs> One to the star. Yes, he got a... He got a even number. <laughs> well, I always noticed... I always noticed that with the... Uh, partner parties. If you get like a... When it says you have like, when it says you have like a odd or even number, if you, if you have like an odd number to the star or like an even number to the star, if you get the other one, then you, chances are you won't get it, you won't get the star. Like if you get a, if you have the odd number to get the star, but then you get, hey, oh there's Waluigi. Waluigi. Look at him waving. They're just jumping around. We <laughs> need to number jump. <laughs> Yay for Waluigi. <laughs> uh, oh, but up. Okay. I'm worried about going to sit too. <laughs> that chaos in the city. Oh, yeah. Ten. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, no. No, oh, I wanted to steal a star.
Ooh, Mario's gonna get the stars. Yay! I'm gonna go up here and get Waluigi. Waluigi really wants in. Home stretch. Get even more stars. Some stars in the home stretch, well played. I'm so used to I'm so used to Mario not being on my team for a second. I actually thought it was on the other team. You got stars. I like never teamed up with Mario before in this game. At least I'm part of it. Stars now. Ooh. Maybe I can make it there, but I want to get all the Luigi. That's why Bowser Jr. still has more allies than me. He's got three. Ah, oh, we wanted making faces again. Instead, we go to Banjo Kazooie World. Good uh, mini game for little kids who uh, want to learn math. <laughs> terrible. Oh, that was so terrible. I'm dragging this down so hard, Marco. I'm pretty sure we already lost. Oh, give it up, Smolty. You already lost. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's lost. <laughs> That'd be so funny if the cannon just kept on firing if it had more shots. The Bowser family wins. We lost the instance Mario didn't hit a six. Eh, uh, there is probably a timing. Just like there's a timing for that timing is money mini game, which I also don't like. Even though I don't mind the massive glory mini game too much. Uh, no, they got a star. Boo! Cheaters! Cheaters! Two bonus stars since we're playing a uh, 15 turn game. Yeah. Only two turns left. Yeah. There he is. But I tend to ignore that most of the time. Yeah, they have no chance. They have no chance to get the next star. The ne next turn is the last turn. And I have to get up there on the... So... Unless we uh, lose a whole bunch of coins... I think we've actually won... Ah, uh, no, never mind. No, I can still win. Never mind. There's a chance I can still win. If they, like, both get a bonus star. Wah. Look at him jumping around. <laughs> I like that. Well, all of them are jumping around. Well, all of them just look so funny when he jumps around like that.
With the power of my crayon chin. Isn't that what his chin looks like? It looks like a, it looks like the point of a crayon. <laughs> There's like a way to do this too, but I'm just bad at it. Start. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not this horrible minicure. <laughs> Yep. I still have so much left. Finish. <laughs> Winners. is a tall one. True. Actually, there are 10 coins away. Oh, hey, uh, oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Minus two. Hello, Pepsi Wimsy, and thank you for the compliment on the hat. Oh, here we go, extra bad luck space. How are you today, Pepsi? Oh, the star moves. I like that detail of Kame this is being like, Oh, Lord Bowser. Lord Bowser Jr. Oh, I'm so sorry about this. <laughs> Mario, if you were smart, you use that warp box to warp to where I am. If you had gotten star minus one, that would have been... <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm so sorry, just doing my job. Okay, I want to do it. I want to do this guy. 11. Hold on, if uh, they all get the key in the 6, well. You know what? Let's see, five, five, seven, eight, three, six, and seven. Five, five, seven, seven. Nah, I'll be the mine. I was gonna use Waluigi's, but no. Oh, yeah! Mwah! Hey! Oops, oh, I already have enough to get through it. Right at the end, we get more stars. Just like last time, where I got that, where I got these uh, stars on the last turn with the exact roll that I needed. 
in the same spot too. It's pretty much like the same sort of spot that it was in Mario Party. Oh, yeah. Poetic justice. You got stars. Pretty sure we've won this won this at this point. The skateboard. Oh yeah, you're a little late. What was the lark going for here? Oh yeah. Robot uprising. You know, just bad. I got Mario has like nobody on his side. Oops, I actually didn't mean to uh, start the uh, minigame there, but oh well. Three, two, one, go! Oops, wrong way. That was, that was bad, that was bad, that was bad, that was bad. Go Mario, go Mario! That was my fault, that was my fault. Go Mario, go Mario! Oh, that one. Yeah, it's usually a pretty easy one, too. If you remember the game, it's not the CPUs. I messed up there. That's why we lost. No. Oh. Last turn. No matter. Pretty sure we won this, like, no matter what. So, one up. Put this guy myself. Nice bonus. Ally bonus. Uh, well, that's a uh, tie between me and Bowser Jr., I think. Yep. Second bonus, sexier bonus. That's probably goes to them. It goes to Bowser Jr., really, because he had, uh... Oh, never mind. Okay. Alright, now I'm actually curious. Smart Bowser means that the dive block run ramp at 100% of the game. <laughs> Alright, let's check the details. Well, Bowser Jr. was close, but I actually beat him by quite a few spaces. Mario would have gotten the uh, doormat star, and Mario and Bowser Jr. would have tied for uh, stomping star, or whatever it's called. We went first that whole game. <laughs> Alright. And we can play a few marathons, Kibby. Here we go to Mario Kart. They need sound stage and online. They need, they need Mario Party and online, that's what they need. How could like, uh, how could like the one thing... It's like, Mar Mario Party is gift wrapped for online, 
and yet all we have is like 10 of the 80 mini games to play online, and that's it. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Oh, I forgot they pressed the voice chat thing. That's not necessary. There we go. Alright, I feel like Nintendo tried way too hard to push this game as a mobile quickie experience. I still like, I still really love this game. I think it's one of the best Mario parties actually, but it could have been so much better. Ouija. to the like uh, stream breaking amount yet there was a there was one stream I did a few weeks ago on uh, there was one stream I did a few weeks ago on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot where I like played the game for probably a little over two hours and then all of a sudden I see that well it was almost three hours but all of a sudden I see that I somehow dropped like 30,000 frames or something. Like, what? How did I drop that much? So, I had to end it right then and there, but it was still a good stream anyway. I guess you choose the water color, it just came too better wise. What do you mean by that? Like, uh, actually speaking of uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, part of the reason why I uh, had a had a late start today, had a late start today, like I started this stream at like a quarter to two my time, rather than like the, uh, like between one and one thirty time that I normally do for my streams. It's because I've been playing uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot a lot. Like off screen, it's like the game, like, like the main game I've been playing all week. Cause I'm trying to beat the game and get the platinum trophy for it. I was streaming it, but I haven't streamed it since that stream where I dropped like 30,000 frames of it. And uh, since then, I eventually decided to just start playing it on my own time again. And now I'm up to the Boo Saga and the fight with the fight against Mods and Vegeta. That'll be fun. I've always been yeah, like that. Better ones, I call it just seem to be Great Depression. <laughs> because you can coins. Wait. Okay, hold on, I'll, I'll read that after this. Oh! Oh, okay, I'll read it. Otherwise, I call it this game of the Great Depression because you gain coins way too e easily, but the value of a coin is so diluted because of how low in price everything is. That's true, like, everything's so much... Everything's, like, a much lower price compared to other Mario Parties. Like, other Mario Party games. The stars are... Like, it costs 20 coins to get a star. And, I mean, not 20 coins. It costs 10 coins to get a star instead of 20, like it normally is. I mean, we've had had 
Mario parties where stars have costed 10 coins before. Like uh, King Boo's Haunted Hideaway from uh, Mario Party 8. That one, uh, that one had stars that could cost 10 coins. And then there were like, uh, there were like some boards in other Mario parties like, uh, uh, DK's, DK Stone Statue from Mario Party DS. Actually, no, not, not that. Never mind, not, not DK Stone Statue. I mean, uh, Fair Square from Mario Party 6. Where you could, like, change the, uh, amount of coins you'd get. Amount of coins that, that you needed to, like, buy a star and it could be 10 coins. Yeah, Mar Mario Party 8's, Mario Party 8 is underrated to me. That's what I really, I really like that game. I mean, I don't think it's one of the, uh, I don't think it's, uh, top five Mario Party, but it's still a really good Mario Party. Like, I know the, not, not all, not all the motion controls work all that well, but still, torn between five and six is my favorite. I actually really don't know which Mario Party is my favorite. I like to say uh, Mario Party 4 is. I know a lot of people really like, uh, really like 4 and 3. Ooh, look at that. Uh, a, lot, a lot of people love uh, two, 2 and 4. Looks at Rotation Station with Bloodshot Eyes. Like 2 and 4 are considered some of the best ones, I think. I don't think I really like uh, Mario Party 2 as much as a lot of other people do. I mean, I still love, I still love that game. I still think it's really good. Finish. I think Mario Party 2 is probably top five. Mario Party 4 is top five as well. I do really like five and six. Although I think, uh, actually in Mario, Actually, uh, Mario Party 5 might be one of the uh, weaker ones. I still love the game, but it's just... It doesn't seem like that much of a hype game. Start. Yeah. I mean, I can see... I can see that. I still really like it, but... But it's not my favorite. I know it's not my favorite. Like, there's some things I don't like about it as much. Like, there's some really... There's some pretty bad mini games in that one. <laughs> Like abandoned ship and sneak and snore. Uh, and then that luck based mini games with the. Uh, hey! How did I beat you? <laughs> I mean, we both got 1000, so it doesn't matter, but still. <laughs> Magic. But Mario Party 2 still has some really good mini games, and I really do love the uh, the whole theme of like everybody dresses up in different outfits depending on the board that you play. And then there's like the endings to the boards where you confront Bowser, and there's like a cool little cutscene. Like those, those, that kind of thing I really like about Mario Party 2. But then there's like the some of the like really bad mini games like Abandoned Ship and Sneak and Snore, and then like the luck based mini games of Day at the Races and Bowser's Big Blast. But I do think it's one of the best Mario Party too. Oh yeah, and I also don't like a Mega Marathon that much. I don't know why you have to like press A and B at the same time with that one. That's just stupid. That's just odd to me. Don't pick Truck or Red Iron. Not Mario Party 1. Well, at least not as much. Mario Party 1, my, my Mario Party 1 has like one. 
but like t Mario Party 2 is when the luck based Mooney games really started to show up. Why well, use caps? <laughs> Why well, indeed? <laughs> Let's go! Mario time! Yeah, 4 definitely has the most consistent battle minigames. It also helps that you can actually pick which one you want to... You can, like, pick between two of them with, with which one you want to play. <laughs> yeah. Although I don't know why the AI sometimes insists on playing Bowser's Bigger Blast, even though that's a luck-based minigame. I feel like Mario Party 4. Mario Party 4 might be my favorite. Maybe it's because it might have you can custom filter out the mini games. Three, two, like. one, go! Yeah, I know like in uh I think in like five through seven you can like switch between like silly mini games. I mean the they usually have the thing where you can uh in the mini games I think they started doing this in Mario Party 3, where you could do like you can pick between like all mini games or just the easy mini games, but then like starting with like Mario Party 5, you could have like all mini games, easy mini games, hard mini games, silly mini games, or something like that. <laughs> also, I did pretty bad on that. And like they did, and like they brought that back for six and seven. I also miss, uh, I miss the bonus stars be not being random. That's what I, like, really like about Mario Party 1 through 6, is that the bonus stars are not random. Speaking of which, I really don't like the buddy bonus star that they have in this game. That is a completely luck-based star, and that's just, like, a, that's just stupid. Completely look based bonus star. I know they had it in Star Rush as well, but it's also in this game and it's stupid. This bonus star goes to the player that had just the right ally. Whatever. That's dumb, it's dumb. They really need to get. I hope, uh, if they were to make Super Mario Party 2, I hope they get rid of that bonus star. The big problem in 4 and 5 is that two bonus stars are basically locked together. Well, that's the case with all the Mario Parties. And like, well, one th and, well, not all the Mario Parties, but 1 through 5. I know you mean, I know what you mean though with the uh, minigame star and the coin star. How they're basically almost the same thing. Like, if you win a lot of minigames, you'll get the coin star. You'll probably more than likely get the coin star. But they do have things in like certain Mario Party games, like with uh, Mario when Mario Party two through five when they bring in the uh, battle mini games. That's when you can get like a whole lot of coins, and to my knowledge, at least in uh, at least in Mario Party uh, two through four, the battle mini games don't count towards the mini game star. But they you can definitely help with the coin star. And then of course in uh, Mario Party 3 you have a uh, game guy. Hello Curtis Prime, How, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. In Mario Party 3 you have game guy where uh, you like bet all of your coins and then if you win the game guy game you get twice as many. You get like twice, you get like times two in your coins and then you can get like if you have like a huge amount of coins, you can get 300 coins or whatever. And then you most definitely get the coin star then. And then of course there's chance time where, you know, 
that could definitely uh, play a factor into who gets the corn star. So much talking. I'm sorry, but what I missed that message. But Kirby, I have to talk. If I don't talk, it's boring. Alright. Oh. I'm glad I had something to... Yeah, it has been a while, Curtis. Things have been good. Finish. I've been, uh, I've been having fun. I've been playing a lot of games. Been, stre been streaming a couple times. Been uh, putting out new kinds of videos and stuff on my YouTube channel. Those are fun. A big problem in, uh, in oh, okay. Okay, so okay. Sorry, but Lord, I'm missing some of your messages. I'll, I'll read them after, uh, I'll read them after I'm, uh, after Puppy Fight School. I hope you've been doing well, Chris. I think I messed up. I messed up here. I don't. I didn't uh, hold. I didn't hold my Joy-Con properly when this minigame started. Went back and forth for a while with my grains a few weeks ago. Oh man, those are never fun. Well, I hope you're feeling better now. One board that has two happening spaces that aren't even accessible 100% of the time. I know what you're talking about there. The Boo's Haunted Bash board. Yeah. That is pretty, uh... That is pretty ridiculous that there's only two happening spaces and they're like right next to each other and then a hard to reach space. Yeah. Finish. And then you say, but see, why gamble your coins to victory when you can just score coins by mutilating your enemies? <laughs> I suppose. I suppose that uh, got me there. That would have been pretty good, yay! Easy, Kirby. And Uber Lord, you said you don't know why in Challenge Road that Fuzzy Flight School was in the final world. Yeah, it's a pretty easy one for the final world. Like even the hard version of the like even the hard challenge isn't is not too hard. Mm. Excuse me, sheesh. Hey, DK. <laughs> Have I had a little bugger for a while? So that's yeah, it's not just easy, it's enjoyable. Yeah. Fuzzy Flight School is one of my favorite mini games in this game, actually. It's probably in my top three. Actually, one of these days I hope to make a uh, a top 10 list of like my favorite mini games in this game as well as the uh, least favorite games and mini games in this game also want to do that with the other Mario parties as well but first first do this game like I need more footage for the past Mario parties before I could do the other ones so I forgot it's your turn, I'm sorry. Candies. Candies is a big feeding. I forgot it was your turn to pick the mini games, Cookie. I've been lingering for quite a while, working out in the way. Yeah. 
That's what happens. Start. Can't my inner focus. <laughs> Come on, Naffy Taffy. Candy, get out of it. No, Lana Bean, Candy, no. Ah. Ah. Get keep Candy, get out of there. There you go. Party everyone sleeps on, and my eyes at least is advanced. Uh, huh. <laughs> Start. I mean, I've actually that's one of the few Mario Party games I haven't played yet. But I mean, I don't know if it's any good or not. I heard it wasn't very good. Oh yeah, that was pretty good. I mean, you still beat me, but. Like I, I know with that, with that game, it's more like a, isn't there like, it's just, you mini games you play by yourself and you're in a car and you like travel around, travel around the world. I remember the last time I got 10.84 on this. <laughs> uh, and uh, you can only play as like Mario and Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Yoshi. Everyone just says it's bad because it's not traditional Mario Party. Mario Party uh, 9, Mario Party 9 isn't traditional Mario Party, and I still like that game, alright. I mean, I always prefer, I always prefer, I always prefer traditional Mario Party myself, but that doesn't mean I don't like the, uh, like, other, the, like, uh, non-traditional Mario Party stuff that they've done over the years. Like, I still like Star Rush. And Mario Party 9. I haven't played 10. Start. I've never played the handheld version. I played DS. D oh. <laughs> I told me the past Mario Party is so rough. Well. Yeah, Mario Party DS, actually. That should be one of the best Mario Parties. Definitely the, easily the best uh, handheld Mario Party. Well, to me. It's my opinion. Finish. Yay! I got a thousand. Okay, what was that? I missed a couple of. Everyone just said the Mario Party. Hopefully, when I have. Curtis says, hopefully, when I have the money, I will finally build a PC and buy a Switch. Ah, well, I hope you can make the money for that. Both know the past Mario Party so well. There's no RNG minigame, and the only, and the only thing keeping your game going is your own skill. Alright. Oh, there it is, huh? Well, maybe if I'm able to, I can give that game a try someday. No doubt that DS holds the crown and best handheld Mario Party. My favorite Mario Party games are the ones on the GameCube. Yeah, the, the GameCube ones are pretty good. I think when uh, I think when uh, when the GameCube games were coming out, some people like uh, the GameCube games. Like y'all, y'all know for years, for years Mario Party always had like year yearly releases. They'd like release a new Mario Party game every year until I think uh, Mario Party Eight. So. When the GameCube, when the GameCube games were coming out, I, I bet there were like some people who were getting kind of just tired of Mario Party. It's like, oh, too many games coming out in so little time. It's exhausting. I didn't play. Uh, 
I didn't play the GameCube Mario parties when they first came out. I got... I waited until, like, uh... When I got a Wii in, like, uh, 2009. And then I would later get, like, the GameCube Mario parties from uh, GameStop, and I'd play them on my Wii. 37 popcorn. Nice. I'm so I'm sorry. I didn't have a GameCube growing up. I had I had a Nintendo 64, but I didn't have a GameCube. And to this day, the Nintendo I I still very much love the Nintendo 64. It's probably it might be my favorite console, either that or the PlayStation 2. But unfortunately, I can't play my PlayStation 2 anymore. I don't even have one anymore. It's just like I don't I don't know for sure if uh, PlayStation 2 still holds up, but I can say uh, Nintendo 64 holds up. I still love the Nintendo 64. But the thing the thing with me is. I've, it's not really on purpose, but I've done this, uh, I've had this thing where I go in, like, a pattern with Nintendo. I end up, like, doing what? <laughs> yeah. I end up, I end up, like, getting one console and then skipping the next. Like, I had a Nintendo, like, I had a Nintendo 64 when I was a kid. I still have my Nintendo 64, actually. But I had the Nintendo 64. I didn't get a GameCube. I eventually got a Wii, but I didn't get a Wii U, and now I have a Switch. So I bet when Nintendo releases their next console, I'm, I won't get it, <laughs> just because that's just how it's been with me and Nintendo. I'm <laughs> going to pattern. <laughs> now I'll probably get Nintendo's next console whenever it comes out. But who knows? Who knows if they're going to have a handheld next, or if uh, it's going to be another... Well, technically, in a way, uh, so the Switch is a handheld, so they kind of did both. They made a handheld and they made a uh, home console with the Switch. Yes. You pick the rest? Okay. Can you say, Curtis? Very first Mario Party in. Yes. The very first Mario Party in this game and the only Mario Party game to have the most favorable reception. Every other Mario Party game has average to mixed reception. Hmm. Interesting. That's weird, because I thought a lot of people really uh, did... did like a lot of, uh... I thought a lot of people really, really liked uh, Mario Party 2 and 4, at least. Maybe they like 3 a lot, too. I think th I don't know. Maybe maybe th I think three is considered is like widely considered the weakest of the. Th oh, maybe not. I don't know. I mean, I don't think the three is the weakest one. I think the first Mario Party is the weakest of the N64 one, but the first Mario Party is still really good. And the only reason I say the first Mario Party is the weakest is because of those uh, control stick spinning mini games. Oh, those are horrible. Three's the only one I haven't played, so I wouldn't know. I really like three. I mean, I understand that. Oh, I understand. I understand the flaws to it, and why people don't like it as much. Like, there's some bad mini games in that one. And one thing I definitely don't like about three is I don't really like the uh, selection of battle mini games as much. Like, I feel like that has one of the weaker battle minigame selections. Because, like, a lot of them are actually really tricky. And there's, like, two... There's, like, two battle minigames in Mario Party 3 that are luck-based. The, uh, Stack Deck and, uh, Marigo Chomp. Always hated those. But then Mario Party 3 also has, uh... That was, like, the first Mario Party where you could hold, like, three items at once. And there were so many items in that game, too. And there was a lot of items in Mario Party 3 that don't show up in any other Mario Party. Like the Reverse Mushroom, and the, uh, uh, the Koopa card, and the, uh, Wacky Watch. The Wacky Watch is pretty cool. 
Lucky, the Lucky Watch, the uh, Lucky Charm, which of course it was exclusive to, the Lucky Charm of course was exclusive to Mario Party 3 because that was the only Mario Party that had game guy. Seen gameplay of Mario Party 9 and 10 and was disappointed in myself. I heard you, I saw earlier Curtis, you said Mario Party 8 was the last one you played. I still really enjoy Mario Party 8, and I get why people don't like the uh, car of Mario Party 9 and 10. I can't speak for 10. I've never played 10 because, again, I don't have a Wii U. And uh, Mario Party 10 hasn't been re-released on the Switch like a lot of other Wii U games have, so... <laughs> I can't actually see if 10 is as bad as people say it is. But I do like 9, even though I still prefer classic Mario Party. Anyway. Nine was at least Nintendo attempting something new. <laughs> what? What was ten? Yeah, I heard. Te I. I have heard terrible stories. Not terrible stories, but just not very good stories of ten. Three, With the whole like Bowser two, Party thing. One, and... go. It seems like uh, funny how I'm so quiet and there's so much talking. <laughs> this is refreshing. I haven't had a chatty chat like this in quite a while. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming out and chatting it up in the chat. It's been a really fun stream today. I'm glad I stopped playing Kakarot so I could stream this. Mario Party 9, but 10 most likely never. I can speak on how bad 10 is. Years ago, I lent my copy of 10 to a friend, but I wasn't antsy to have it back. <laughs> like, I know there's this whole thing where, uh, in Bowser Party, you have to, like, uh, drive away from Bowser in the car, and then, like, uh, when Bowser catches up to you, you play, like, a Bowser-themed minigame where he can damage you. And if he, like, takes away all your health, you lose, and you're out of the game. And then, uh, like, when you reach the end of the board, you have to play, like, this luck-based minigame where you have to, like, guess who has the... which one of, like, Bowser's minions has the star. And if you, like, guess wrong, you get... you get... oh? Oh, geez, I have no idea. Uh, if you guess... if you guess wrong, you have to... If you like guess wrong on who has the star, you get like thrown back a couple of spaces. And if like Bowser is close enough to the to the like the uh, end of the board, you like instantly have to play Bowser in a Bowser minigame. It's just ugh. And then there's like some Bowser minigames that are uh, like heavily weighed in Bowser's favor too, which just makes it worse. I might need some water now, with all this talking I've been doing. <laughs> I'll read that after this case. They seem to like Mario Party 10. Create a water command. The yeah, looks fun when it goes up to 90 seconds. It is fun. This is actually one. Gridiron Gauntlet is one of my favorite Mar one of my favorite mini games in this game. Hey, if people like Mario Party 10, more power to them. I can I can actually say whether or not I like Mario Party 10 because I've never played it. Of course, as I've said numerous times already, I've never played Mario Party 10, so. I don't know whether I like it or I hate it, but I have heard stories about how it's bad. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna go off the assumption that it's bad. I mean, if I get if I ever get the chance to play Mario Party 10, oh jeez, I think I might have to spit a bit. Come on, Lima Bean, get out of there. There we go. Uh, if I ever get the chance to play Mario Party 10, I'll I'll give it a try. Because I mean, you know. I'll take any chance to play a Mario Party game. Finish. 
And if I like it, I like it. And if I don't like it, oh well. I just noticed we had the Warrior Brothers as our CPUs. <laughs> you lost? That was actually a pretty uh, bad round of uh, Candy Shakedown. Uh, candy Shakedown. Nope, you have still won. Oh, <laughs> you won by two points. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. I watched people play Mario Party 10 the other day. Series. If only I did, but if only I did better on one of those mini games, <laughs> won by two points. Lima Bean single-handedly beam night out of a win. Yep. Let's play another round of this. You can go to cart whenever you're ready. Daisy became a playable character in Smash Bros. before Waluigi did. Let's let that sink in. <laughs> I've been ready to cart for a while now. <laughs> 45 minutes. Mario Kart is another favorite, especially Double Dash. Yeah, Double Dash is pretty good. I have played Double Dash. That's just fun. Speed runs double dash. It's the infuriating kind of fun. <laughs> Speed run double dash. That's interesting. I've never known a. Uh, I've never known of uh, Mario Kart speed runs. Last Mario Kart Mario, Mario Kart I played was one for the Wii. I thought Mario Kart Wii was pretty good. I know some people don't like Mario Kart Wii. All that much, probably because uh, Funky Kong was so high tier in that game. <laughs> but I still, I really liked Wii. I thought it was fun. Apparently, like uh, I don't know for sure, but I thought I, I thought I. Uh, read some website some website named like Mario Kart Tour like the racing game of the year which is ridiculous to me I mean I don't know for sure I might have to look at that again Finish. but the fact that Mario Kart Tour a mobile game with a whole bunch of uh, a mobile game with a whole bunch of microtransactions would like win out racing game over the year over Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, which granted also has microtransactions, but they're not nearly as bad. Start. At least to my knowledge, they're not nearly as bad. Mario Kart Tour is a disaster. <laughs> I, I actually played Tour for a little while, but then I eventually just uh, stopped playing it. I just never, uh, I just somehow, uh, I just somehow grew disinterested in it. I don't know why, it was just, uh, that thing where I just kind of stopped playing it. Finish. 
Sonic Steam Racing with zero microtransaction, no need to thank me. But like the microtransactions in CTR aren't even a problem. Because you can get like a whole bunch of coins in that. If you just play on the weekend. I mean, well, if you especially play on the weekend, I should say. I've never played top Sonic Team, Team Sonic Racing. <laughs> Maybe I would have to give that a try sometime. I was just more focused on the CTR because uh, that was the... Uh, because anybody who knows me knows that I love Crash Bandicoot. And that was like, uh, CTR was... The CTR Nitro Field was probably my, uh... most anticipated game of last year. Very addicting game, but it takes a lot of investment to master. What were we saying earlier about we were lord? I don't like we purely because the online community is ruined and toned into ultra competitive competitivity. I know there's still people that actually uh, mo that actually mod Mario Kart. There's still people that actually mod Mario Kart. Uh, Wii with a bunch of custom tracks. Like, even to this day, Nintendo is all about the money nowadays. I suppose. Remember when Nintendo's, like, most expensive games used to be, like, 40 or 50 dollars, and now they're, like, 60 dollar games? <laughs> oh, geez, that was freaking... Lima bean! Lima bean! Okay, there we go. Nice 8.95, Kirby. <laughs> Been forever since I got a time like that on Kirby. And now we have, uh... Yeah. Finish. yeah. Now we have a paid subscription for a Nintendo Switch for a Nintendo Switch Online, which, uh, to be fair, Nintendo Switch Online is a lot cheaper than PlayStation Plus. <laughs> and uh, I don't know about Xbox Gold because I don't have an Xbox, but I'm pretty sure uh, Xbox Start. Xbox is more expensive with its online too than Nintendo is. <laughs> But if I'm not, if it's not, then... Well, uh... For PlayStation Plus, to get like a 12-month, uh, membership, you have to pay like $60 for it. I mean, to get, get a 12-month subscription to it. Whereas, uh, with, uh, Nintendo Switch Online's 12-month membership, it's only $20. So, yeah. Big difference there. <laughs> and PlayStation Plus used to be 50, but then they made it 60. Like a couple years ago, they made it 60 instead of 50. Oh, I think I. Ah, uh, yeah. I held my uh, Joy-Con incorrectly again. So I it. Yeah, that's that's pretty. Uh, that is pretty. Mm. I mean, I will, I will admit Nintendo doesn't have like the best uh, kind of online thing. I mean, it's a lot cheaper, but you have to like have this app for, you know, voice chat and stuff and half the time you like get kicked out of the voice chat and then like back into it. Like it's like really not very consistent with how it works. And like, I don't even know how uh, game invites work on Switch. Like, I know they recently, they, like a few months ago, made an update to Switch where you can, like, send game invites, but I don't even know how that works. And then there's the whole... What else? And the friends... The friend, I always thought the friend code thing was kind of odd. Like, what's wrong with just sending a friend request, like on PlayStation? 
Problem is that Nintendo pushes the online stuff too hard. Again, it needs to be playable without online interactions. Oh, you want to play cart now, Kirby? We can do that. I have PS Plus for my PS4. As do I. I've had it for uh, probably five years at this point. Because <laughs> that's about, I think that's around the time when I got my PlayStation 4. I got it in Christmas of uh, 2014. Is it time for cart? Yeah, all right. I'll play cart. Just one sec. I gotta kind of set it up. Um, I wish PS Plus and PS Now were one thing instead of separate. Yeah. So yeah, guys, yeah, we're about to switch to Mario Kart here. I think. Uh, while I switch to cart, I might play an ad here. Because uh, I've forgotten all about the whole uh, run ads to get a little bit of money thing that Twitch does. So I think I'll run an ad while I switch games. So if y'all don't mind, I'll be right back. I'm going to play the ad right quick. And uh, when we come back, uh, games should be switched to cart. Alright. <laughs> Sound of Grayson is fifty percent off right now. Huh. Alright. to 50% off. Uh. Whoops, no, not right now. Trying to. There we go. I'm just putting the Joy Con up so I can switch to the Pro Controller. Oh! 
Oh, almost dropped the uh, Zorcon grip. <laughs> Sorry, it's fifty percent off. Nice. Right. Back. Now to switch games, but only until the twenty eighth. Why isn't Mario Kart 8 Deluxe a game on Switch? Why is it just regular Mario Kart 8? I came on Twitch, I should say. Crash Team Racing, now that is an amazing game. I fully agree. Matter of fact, that might be my favorite racing game. Well, that or, that or Diddy Kong Racing. I still love Mario Kart, yeah. Okay, I wanna try something right quick, actually. Let me see, me, yeah, me. No, uh, never mind. No, oh. <laughs> yeah, got it for, a friend of mine gave it to me for Christmas. Dragon Ball Z shirt. Ah, very much like it. Yeah, I did. I, I made two new Mies. You got a similar one. I have another one, too. I have another uh, Dragon Ball Z shirt that's uh, got like the... Uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's black and it's got the... Uh, got like the Japanese uh, con like kanjis on the uh, sleeves and it has like a picture of it has like three different Gokus. It has like regular Goku and then Goku and Super Saiyan, and then it has Goku and Super Saiyan 3. It's really Okay, hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something. Uh Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Waluigi. I made a Waluigi me. <laughs> yep. Alright. Friend. Great room. That's awfully handsome. <laughs> Matter of fact. First, sounds good. Actually, to be honest, one more thing. I'm gonna use the rest of right quick, so I'll be right back.
I could probably put this label back on now, I guess. Or I miss. I'm glad I took a lot of joke because I actually had enough motion controls on last time I played. Your pole, yes, scary. But yeah, but I showed it the same thing as yours, but it's white and black instead of blue. Oh, the delay. You're gonna destroy us. One thing I miss about Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U is that you can see the names of the people you were racing against in the lobbies. Hmm. I did not know that. Alright, let's get this started. Let's see, 150 CC. No themes. All vehicles. since I've made like a me just for the fun of it. Like I made this me a couple weeks ago. I'm glad I was able to make it. I know his, mu his mustache should probably be a, a bit less thin, but oh well. His mustache is actually a, are actually is actually supposed to be glasses. <laughs> All gonna wreck us. We're gonna wreck it. Alright, we got Donut Plains 3 is our first race of the day. You mentioned you had the same kind of Goku shirt that I did, but it was like a different color. Sorry that I missed that message when I was uh, gone. I'll read that message after this race, Curtis. Uh, by the way, I think I just saw, I saw Pink Gold Peach there, and that reminds me of uh, one thing I like about CTR over this game. There's not like uh, there's not any any real sort of character like uh, Pink Gold Peach or uh, Tanuki Mario in, in CTR. Like, uh, this game, this game has like, oh yes! Oh, Boo protected me from the lightning strike. Yeah, but there's not any sort of character like, uh, Pink Gold Peach or Mario and, or like Tanuki Mario and CTR. Like, the closest thing we get is Baby Crash and Baby Coco and CTR. But like, if, uh, like all the all the Crash Bandicoot, like some of the characters have different skins in CTR, but they're not separate characters. Like in Mario Kart 8, they're like actual skins for the characters. They're not like taking up a whole character slot, which is definitely a plus for CTR. Anyway, what did you say, Curtis? I got another shirt where it's Goku, Vegeta, Krillin, and Gohan in the Ginyu Force, and it looks like it was inspired by Captain America's Civil War. <laughs> nice. 
<laughs> I'll have to I'll have to look that up. <laughs> that sounds pretty cool. I forget if there's any other uh, Dragon Ball stuff that I have. Oh, I have a poster. I have a uh, Dragon Ball poster hung up in my bedroom, which is uh, it's like basically uh, basically the cast of uh, DBZ in like the Android saga. Like it's, uh, it's Goku and uh, Kit and like uh, Kid Gohan and Vegeta and Trunks. All in their Super Saiyan form. By Trunks, I mean future Trunks, of course. Uh, AKA the better Trunks. And also has uh, Piccolo and Yamcha and Tien on it. Pretty cool. I got that at like a convention I went to a couple years ago. I did have another. Sh I did have another Dragon Ball Z. Sh oh. Yeah, I do. I do have. I have one more shirt. I have one more DVD shirt, it's a t-shirt with uh, like it has like the Dragon Ball, like classic Dragon Ball Z manga, or like manga font on it. It's like Dragon Ball, it says, it says Dragon Ball Z but it's in like the style of like the old manga and stuff. And it has like uh, Goku and Adult Gohan and Piccolo and Krillin. And it's like basically a Boo Saga picture. Vegeta's on it too. And uh, I used to have another uh, Dragon Ball Z t shirt that had like uh, Goku, Vegeta, and Vegito on it. Like it was, uh, I think it was like regular Vegeta and then Super Saiyan Vegeta, and then it had a uh, Super Vegito and Goku and Super Saiyan Goku on it. But it was too small for me actually. <laughs> I found, I found out it was too small for me and I had to like take it back to the closest one. You got two wall scrolls of the two other anime. Nice. Dragon Ball is really like the only anime I, uh, I've watched pretty much. I mean, the, the only other anime I can think of that I watch is uh, Seven Deadly Sins. Maybe, oh, I know Yu-Gi-Oh. Although I haven't watched Yu-Gi-Oh in a while. <laughs> I was watching it on Netflix for a while, and then uh, I, for whatever reason, haven't watched it in a while. Yu-Gi-Oh, I, like, I was like up to season two with the whole uh, Battle City uh, story and stuff. Be the real Waluigi. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, that. And yeah, Seven Deadly Sins. Which I thought Seven Deadly Sins was supposed to get another season, but uh, I guess it's not out yet. Rainbow Road! Seven Deadly Sins is great. Great. Great minus season three having the lazy animation. I didn't even notice lazy animation. Uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not like one of those uh, guys who's very like who kind of notices that sort of thing where you know like there's some animation that looks uh, better than others. Or I mean, you know, that kind of thing. I'm not like uh, one of those guys that said, "Oh, this animation is just." Uh, I'm not like the one to know, like, you know, minor, notice, like, uh, major or minor differences between animation and stuff. I'll do it for you, but, you know, that kind of thing. I didn't know uh, the animation took a dive in the... Oh, that's pretty weird. Oh, 
By the way, when are we gonna get Mario Kart, Kart on? And Mario Kart 2 it doesn't count. Season 3 was animated by a different studio than the first two seasons. I did not know that. I thought the animation still looked fine anyway. I mean, it wasn't. I didn't even know, know it was a diff different animation. I mean, like a different studio that animated that. It was just the same as I like. Aw, oh, man. I was hoping for a Oh! 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 Nope. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Donkey Kong! Alright, somebody wants me to be the real. Mm, Kirby, you want me to be the real, Waluigi. I accept! <laughs> I'm pure bones, what is there to burn? <laughs> Good port. I've only made like uh I've only made like five Mii's. Yeah. Like when it comes to me and Mii's, I usually make I usually make Mii's of like the my friends and family. Like me, my friends and my family. I don't really make like Mii's that are I don't usually make Mii's that are like based off of uh characters or something, you know. I mean, I did once make a, uh, on my 3DS, I did once make a uh, Miis of, uh, the wrestlers, uh, CM Punk and Daniel Bryan. <laughs> back when they were, like, back when they were, like, feuding with each other in, uh, 2012. Like, da Daniel Bryan was all angry and everything, and CM Punk was the baby face. I might not even know what I'm talking about. Oh. Whoop. I've been watching the budget of WWE since I was a baby. I've been watching since uh, 2011. So, almost a decade. I mean, it took, took me a while to get into it because I didn't even uh, really know it existed for a while. I didn't, uh... Actually, truth be told, it was uh, video games that got me into WWE. Like, uh... I first, uh... found out about WWE from uh, the WWE All-Stars game. I don't know if you remember that game. That was, a, that was a crazy game. Where all the wrestlers just say, uh... Just uh, mess with gravity. Like gravity doesn't exist in that game. They like jump super high to make make, make their moves and everything. That feel like like wasn't a great way for WWE. Uh, yeah, I guess not. They had the whole thing where uh, Seth Rollins was supposed to be the big top baby face, but everybody turned on him. And then, uh, then he turned to you. And then Shane McMahon was, like, running things for a while, and that was annoying. And Baron Corbin being king of the ring. Hey, I'm second place. Why don't you number second? I'm excited for uh, Drew McIntyre. He won the Royal Rumble. Hope you can actually win the championship. That was a terrible race for you? Uh oh.
Claymore. One, two, three, Claymore. I challenge Brock Lesnar. I know that rather, but they hasn't made me want to change the channel. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Truth be, truth be told, I actually stopped watching for like a few for a few months, and I only just started. Uh, I only just started watching again when uh, WrestleMania, when the road to WrestleMania started. Like after I found out that uh, Drew won the War Rumble, that's when I came back. Because <laughs> I just, uh, for one thing, I didn't like the whole. Uh, I didn't like Brock Lesnar being WWE champion. Because I don't, I don't like that whole thing where they're doing, uh, they have part-time champions where they don't show up every week and they only like defend their championship every other pay-per-view. Brock doesn't need to go away. Yes, he does. I mean, he's had good matches and he uh, sell, sells well and he like sells moves well and has good matches with a lot of people. But still, I hate that he keeps winning championships. I guess it's not necessarily, a, not that I don't like Brock Lesnar, it's that I don't like the fact that he's a part-timer. If he wasn't a part-timer, I'd probably cheer for him more. But I just don't like the whole thing where, again, because he's a part-timer, he doesn't defend his championship all the time. Which would normally mean he, uh, like, make it, like, if he goes... I always thought the I always thought the rule was if you didn't if you went like 30 days without defending the title you have to vacate it you have to like relinquish it and like Brock Lesnar has gone 30 days without defending the title like numerous times and yet he still had to be the champion. Oh, I keep missing. I really wish they got the end. He doesn't need to be the champion to bring in the big, to bring in the big bucks. Oh, maybe he's good enough to draw on his own. Suplex City. Also, there was that whole in that, in that period where I stopped watching. There was that whole storyline with uh, Lana and Rusev and Bobby Lashley with that whole love triangle thing. And that's, uh, I'm not interested in that at all. <laughs> no thank you. Completely unnecessary. Also, I'm doing terrible in this case. I'll read that after this case. I did terrible in this case. But Waluigi is still happy. Vince says, according to reports, hasn't been around Raw and SmackDown for a while. Hmm. Is that fair? Do you have map on? Yes, always. <laughs> Bowser's Castle! What race are we on, even? How did you not realize the blue shell? hear jokes all over the internet. I hear jokes all over the internet about how Vince is just out of touch and everything and like at any time any time and any time there's like a bad booking decision everybody points their fingers at Vince. <laughs> and 
nice to have that kind of thing. I don't know if he's to blame for you know, a whole lot of stuff or not. I mean, I know he's got the big, he's got a big position of power right now. I mean, he's essentially the guy that made it made it all happen. But still. Hard to say. I'm not into the whole like uh, corporate behind the scenes stuff that goes on with uh, WWE. I got a blue shell and I'm in fourth place. What is wrong with this picture? for the chat. What's your favorite Bowser's Castle in Mario Kart? Danky Kang. Hi, Dinky King. Mm -hmm. I swear for buttons, me of why I always go left on the junction. <laughs> I go back and forth. I don't really care. I didn't think that really mattered all that much. Seventh race, okay. I was wondering which race we were on. Why is... Like, every time I stream this game, well, I always end up playing this uh, race track. I always end up playing Mount Warrior. Like, to the point where this game thinks thinks that my favorite race track in this game is Mount Warrior, but that's not true. Not warriors on it. Alright, uh Yeah, there we go. I've like never taken that shortcut before. That was the first time I've ever taken that shortcut. <laughs> DS when like the blooper didn't mean anything because you could just look at the uh, you could just look at the touch screen to like see where you were on the map. <laughs> in third place. Sweet. Watch out for me. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, DK got fourth. I thought it was going to get fifth. DK, you're, you're, you're video bombing me. 
City. This is another uh, racetrack I end up playing a lot. Hey, my score is 64! Hooray! Because I always curve left to Bowser's fist and that's reckless on the right. Ah. I gotta look like Squirtle from a distance. I still don't get why this, uh, the music on this racetrack is a remix of Toad's Turnpike from uh, Mario Kart. I'll read that after this. I'll read that message also after this. Oh, boo! Oh, yeah, I got somebody with this. Oh, DK. This is the last race, too, I think. Maybe that's DK at least. Nope. Oh. Okay. Did I actually. I think DK beat me. He did. Oh, I got fourth. Okay. Brock Lesnar a few years ago at WrestleMania in 2018 was not happy after his match with Roman Reigns. Lesnar walked backstage behind the entrance with a bad attitude. He threw the title of the bench. It was pretty interesting. Roman Reigns was supposed to beat Brock Lesnar, but that was changed to Lesnar winning instead. Brock Lesnar seemed to hate being champion backstage, but still has it because of the money. I felt calm and um, proud the back of my neck at the end of that race. <laughs> I wanna check something that quick. Okay, it's still only two. Alright, battle time. Kirby, I'm guessing you wanna play a Renegade Roundup, right? after you pass the box by a didn't and the tables turned right at the end of the race. How long do the round how long do you want the rounds to be, Kirby? 
for one minute. That was luck though for me. Five minutes. Ooh, boy. We won't be here a while then. Well, hope y'all are ready for the Renegade Roundup Gauntlet we got going on here. Ooh, boy. We don't have luck in my favor. I thought you I thought you were in control of that. Ah, my eyes are in sorry. Room again round up normal items, five minutes, half calm, all vehicles, twelve rounds. That did not sound like all with you. Oh, uh, Rock hates being a champion. Perhaps he's willing to put uh, McIntyre over at WrestleMania. I like the fact that WrestleMania this year is pirate themed. I think that's pretty cool. And apparently uh, WrestleMania 37 next year is supposed to be Hollywood themed, just like uh, WrestleMania 21 was. I'm gonna get caught. I'm stuck in the corner. Oh. Trying to, I missed the, I missed the key. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm not you. Oh. Speaking of WrestleMania, I really don't like that they stopped uh, putting the numbers on the uh, logos. After WrestleMania 30, I wish they would put the numbers back on the logos. Apparently, I've heard it's because Vince doesn't want to make WrestleMania sound old, which I think is stupid. I mean, if that if that really is the reason, I think it's a stupid reason. Like. Uh, the Super Bowl is the Super Bowl is up to like 50 plus Super Bowls at this point, and they ain't afraid to admit it. I don't remember what Super Bowl was up to now. Which one just happened? Super Bowl 50 something. I really wish they put the numbers back on the logo to this movie. Yep. It does indeed go Hollywood next year. I heard about that. WrestleMania 37 in Hollywood. Just like how WrestleMania 21 went Hollywood. WrestleMania 21, the one with uh, Orton going up against Undertaker. 
And also the one when uh, Batista and John Cena both won their world championships. First world championships. Oh no, we lost. This is unprecedented, folks. That's exciting. WrestleMania 21, the, that was like the main tagline behind it even, it was called, Res it was like, WrestleMania Goes Hollywood. And they still call it WrestleMania 21, but they were, they were still, they were still saying, WrestleMania Goes Hollywood. Oh, hang on. About an hour and 30 minutes away from Hollywood. Nice. Excuse me. Depending on traffic. Yeah. <laughs> traffic is always a factor. Oh, I bet. How we all wish traffic didn't exist, right? <laughs> It would make uh, driving on the road a whole lot easier. Or getting where we want to go a whole lot easier. Actually, if only, uh, if only Dragon Ball, if only Dragon Ball's instant transmission existed in real life, then we wouldn't have to even drive anywhere. All we'd have to do is just put our fingers on our forehead and just teleport to wherever we need to go. Definitely want to go to WrestleMania next year. Nice. I have yet to go to WrestleMania. Mostly because it's so uh, so expensive. <laughs> like there was even a pay-per-view in my hometown uh, several months ago. Like the Clash, like Clash of Champions last year was in my hometown, but the tickets were too expensive even then, so I couldn't go. I heard that was kind of an uneventful pay-per-view anyway, so I guess I didn't really miss much. Besides uh, the theme setting up to like, build for the theme starting to get the Universal Championship. Yeah, I 
chasing after me. Just hanging out at the top, the top of the link there. Oh no! You're <laughs> all the weird you looking to the left. <laughs> I've been to WWE house shows, Monday Night Raw, and SmackDown. I've been to both Raw and SmackDown, but only one seat. Back in uh, 2012 and 2013, respectively. Like any time, any time I, uh, like by the time I find out that there's a rest, that there's a Monday Night Raw, like these days when I find out there's a Monday Night Raw or a Friday Night Smackdown in my hometown, I, it's usually too late because, you know, it's already, uh, it's like already happening and like, you know, I was sold out and stuff. Like there's no commercial there's no commercials for me anymore of like saying, hey, guess what? SmackDown and Raw are coming to your hometown. It just makes it harder for me to keep up. SmackDown in 2017, Raw in 2018. My Raw in uh, 2012 was the the night after uh, Hell in a Cell when uh, CM Punk uh, beat right back to retain his WWE Championship thanks to Brad Maddox and his crappy referee job. <laughs> Bad officiating. It's the whole low blow and fast count and everything. And then I think the uh, SmackDown was the one maybe just before Survivor Series of that year. Or maybe uh, two weeks before. Like a week and a half before Survivor Series. But it was just like, just of course, another series. Let's see. A long time. It's been such a long time since I've actually been to one. Been to a show live. I should go back and I should go back and do it again. Like attend, like attend another show. go to NXT. Yeah, that'd be pretty fun. We are NXT! They have great shows. I'd love to see uh, Keith Lee live. That's my favorite kind of cheese. <laughs> NXT. Bask in his glory. For he is limitless. He's really cool, I like him. Bask in his glory. I know he recently won the uh, North American Championship. And uh, Roderick Strong. I wonder if Undisputed Era is falling apart. I mean, I haven't watched NXT in a while, so I don't really know what's going on as much. I know they got uh, Shayna Baszler challenging uh, Becky Lynch right now. Or apparently she's like fighting her. <laughs> she's a vampire, apparently. 
then like uh, I think Rhea Ripley is challenging Charlotte, or Charlotte's challenging Rhea Ripley. The Royal Rumble this year was almost ruined because of Brock Lesnar, <laughs> or because Roman Reigns almost won again. <laughs> nah, I don't. I don't. I don't mind Roman Reigns. It's kind of kind of crazy how he's made like the final two in almost every Royal Rumble he's been in. Wait, you have to what? You have to Brock Lesnar or you have to Roman Reigns? <laughs> oh, Brock Lesnar. Yeah. See, I didn't uh, I didn't even know that Brock. I hadn't been following uh, WWE for a little while at that point, so I was wondering why the heck uh, Brock Lesnar was in the Royal Rumble, even though he was the WWE Champion. It's like, why is the WWE Champion in the Royal Rumble? That doesn't make any sense to me. And then he went on and just started eliminating everybody. I'm like, oh, come on. Then it paid off because Drew McIntyre eventually eliminated him, and that was... That was pretty cool. And yes, Edge being back is awesome. So awesome that he's able to still wrestle, even though, even through what was supposed to be a career ending injury. They had that whole talk about him uh, not being able to wrestle again because if he ever did another spear, he might risk paralyzing himself, which that's a scary thought to think about. But it's really cool to see Edge back. And now he's probably going to have a match with Randy Orton at WrestleMania. Because Randy Orton likes to smash in his uh, best friend's heads in with a chair, apparently. Another one channel here to focus. Drew McIntyre got a huge pop for him in Black Lesnar. Yes, he did. That was probably like the second biggest puff of the night, uh, second to Edge returning. Like nothing, nothing was gonna beat Edge returning, that's for sure. <laughs> nothing was gonna beat the pop Edge got. And what was even cool, and it was even better about that, is the look on Edge's face. Like you can tell he he loved the reaction he got. I don't think that. I'm kind of wondering if they can ever book him as a heel anymore. Because they can. Because he's just so beloved now. And yeah, but that's such a big pop that it might be like hard to boo him now. Even though he is a really great heel. Then again, if uh, people can boo Daniel Bryan, then. They can do Edge. <laughs> he looks like he cried when he heard the pop. Yeah, I know. And then he shifted into his. Then he like shifted back into his character when he uh, when he did his like signature pyro pop thing. Yes, it was. You can see like people in the crowd. They looked like they were crying. He wasn't, like, Edge wasn't the only one crying, even people in the crowd looked like they were crying to see him back. Like, one guy was just like, ah, yes! He's like, crying and everything. Well, didn't, maybe he wasn't crying, but he kind of looked like he was crying with joy. <laughs> that was cool, though. That was a really good theme song, too. It was one of the really good theme songs. Run away! Run away! Get away from me! No! Okay. I don't feel as bad about getting caught now since the... First spear wasn't even on camera thanks to the guy that runs the production truck. Yeah, I know. I heard about that. 
how his first career is in I think it's I don't know if we're sure right now, but I think it's coming done that one the uh, production stuff. I mean, I don't know who he is. Never met him. Apparently, he has a like big influence over what goes on. I mean, besides being the Hulk, being the guy in the production truck. But yeah, boo, boo on the production guys for missing Edge's first spear. No, it's just not right. Not, not his first spear, of course, but, you know. First spear coming back. Not his first spear ever. <laughs> Spears don't look quite the same anymore since I'm so used to Roman Reigns doing his gears. Uh oh, phone call. Looks like it might actually be somebody. Might actually be somebody. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, nice ca nice camera shot. <laughs> nice uh nice angle there of Waluigi celebrating. Spear, but they didn't show that part until WWE released a video on YouTube. Yeah, I saw that. I watched that video. They like to do that whole thing with it, with the uh, unseen footage of insert a special WWE moment here. Like they do that for YouTube. Like they did that for when uh, when uh, AJ Styles made his debut in the Royal Rumble in 2016. But they just like in the actual thing, they spent too long on Roman Reigns' face. Like on his reaction face to, to age in his entrance, that we kind of missed part of his entrance. <laughs> wow. I'm like losing track of what team I'm on. Oh, I'll come back here, baby. Oh. I'm pretty sure they've done that with other characters. I do for the floor of Rumble Return and the yeah. Maybe 
this is this supposed to be based off of Splatoon 1 or Splatoon 2? This uh of course. I guess it's the first one here. I don't think I've seen the arena like this in the Splatoon 2. Just got it for Christmas two months ago. And I actually haven't even played it all that much. Not, not because I. Not that the reason why I haven't played it that much because I don't like it. I mean, I do like it. I just haven't played it all that much because I've been so focused on other games too. Oh! Hey, Alberto is unlocked. I've lost I've lost it too. I think it's pretty neat. Oh, it works. <laughs> Hat Peach White, you shouldn't even exist. You shouldn't be in this game. You should just be regular Peach. Everybody like ganged up on Donkey Kong here and there. What round are we up to? I've lost track. <sighs> now, that, now that I look at it, maybe I made the... Maybe I made the Waluigi Mii's eyes too big. Maybe his eyes should have been a bit smaller. After this, so you guys gonna want to do more after this? Oh, here, having a good, having a good stream here. I saw something like the Hedgehog yesterday, and it was amazing. Cool. Again, I forget what I forget what team I'm on. I was thinking I was the cops. So I knew what to do. I've been thinking about going to see Sonic myself. I'm not like the biggest Sonic fan. Like I only think he's uh, okay. I like. I, mean, I haven't played. A, I haven't played a whole lot of Sonic games. But that Sonic movie does look pretty good. Also, especially I like. Especially I like that. Uh, Jim Carrey is in it, and he's like back to the, his, back to his like uh, loony, loony role that he's uh, so famous for. That'd be one. Of, that'd be that'd definitely be one of the reasons why I'd go see that movie. Was he was he good in that movie? Was Jim Carrey good? It is Dr. Robotnik slash Dr. Eggman. If you please, if you please, would refrain from spoiling. <laughs> I, mean, just, I mean, I got I'm not that big a deal. Just spoil it. Nah. Dr. 
Dr. Robotnik's a much better name than Dr. Eggman. I don't know why they sometimes call him Dr. But like they went with Dr. Eggman instead of Robotnik. Like I think in uh... Like the, they, I guess they used to call him Ro Dr. Robotnik and then they started calling him Eggman for whatever reason. Sounds better to me than Eggman. I mean, more intimidating at least. Like, uh, would you be more scared of a guy named Dr. Robotnik or Dr. Eggman? Dr. Eggman was a sufficient nickname in Japan. Oh, I didn't know that. They just wanted to, I guess they just wanted to keep things more consistent then, so that's probably why they started calling him McMahon in America too. Maybe that's just called him Robotnik. I mean, I heard, I heard him being called Eggman before I heard him being called Robotnik, I know that. I knew his Eggman name before his Robotnik name. But I still think Robotnik is a bit better. as of Sonic Adventure 2 is officially his real name while being called Eggman as a nickname. Ivo Robotnik. Robotnik. Anybody, anybody remember uh, Scratch and Grounder from Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> I also remember they had the, uh, they had coconuts and robot muscle too. 
Crouching ground is really more than enough. <laughs> you look like you did what, what booze normally do, they just normally go through the wall. <laughs> yeah, I got that Actually, have like a remix of the Luigi's Mansion game. Getting the top segment worked like a charm. I didn't even know you did that. Is there somebody behind? Oh, yeah, there's somebody else in here too. Cool. <gasps> Random. Oh, we go back to Luna Colony. All we need. All we need to do is to add Horizon to the beginning of that, add Horizon to that title, and then we'd have an Overwatch map. For a whole minute I just sat in front of the route to the top floor. <laughs> forget I'm not the cop right now I shouldn't be going to
Aha. Guard the uh, his reserve. Mr. Kim. Move it. I know he's a guy. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, I feel like they were just hiding there waiting for me to drive over there. Why is the Bowser team the blue team? I think that should be the other way around. This 
is the one where there's only one cage on the in the arena. the sweet sweet kingdom yet
I'm probably in this meme after this. It's a good way to good way to end it and things have kinda of quieted down anyway. So when things quiet down they I was gonna say, <laughs> that would be a very quick ending to this 11th round here. Think about it. I wonder what they'll do for the next Mario game. I believe something the last Mario game they got was uh, Mario Maker 2. That feels like it came out. Uh, that feels like it came out longer ago than it actually did. I know it came out summer of last year. <laughs> it seems like it's been out longer than that. <laughs> so I wonder what they'll do for the next Mario. Get like a whole new kind of Mario game. Like Odyssey was, we'll get another like uh, Super Mario Brothers style thing. Or maybe we'll get another Mario Party, or another Mario, Party. Or another Mario Sports game. Anyway. Well, actually, maybe a uh, maybe Mario and Sonic. Maybe the last uh, Mario and Sonic Olympic game. Is technically, last Mario. Game. That came out after my But I heard that wasn't very good. Mario and Sonic at the, uh, whatever it was, whatever Olympics at this point. I forgot which one. Tricks used to be so much harder to do and we well not so much harder, but I feel like they were a lot trickier. Oh yeah, 
Like in this one, they're like in this game, and I think Mario Kart 7, they're pretty easy to do. Let's get right away. Seven. Final round. Question: Why have we gone to Lunar Colony on Roberts three times now? <laughs> I don't know. I think that's about it for last time. I only picked the stage because we haven't played on it yet. At least today. I like how the I like how the uh, piranha plant gets hurt gets hurt by the star. Like even if you don't, even if uh, like you don't like the car doesn't have to the guy in the star. Well, if you don't get hurt, but the piranha plant can still get hurt. We did it! <laughs> One to eleven. Second on our team, I was hiding away for multiple rounds. <laughs> yep. That's how it would seem. Well, that all said, I believe I'm going to call it for today, folks. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks, Superlord and Kirby. You go play Minecraft now? Alright. Actually, what I was thinking of doing was raiding somebody. 
if you'll stick around at least to raid. We'll stick around for a raid and then you can leave. <laughs> but I'm thinking of raiding somebody. Who am I gonna raid? I just want somebody to raid that quick. I think I'll read uh S but I think I'll read S Bediver. One because one because he's playing a game I never heard of called uh, Play Plague Inc. Evolved. And another because he has a Jerry avatar. <laughs> so yeah, I'll read it for that. So thanks again everybody who tuned in. Thanks for, thanks for the raid, Overlord. And Thanks to everybody who watched this slide on YouTube as well. Nope, I've never heard of that game. So, I hope y'all enjoy that. And I'll be back, be back soon for more, for more streaming. Don't know what I'll stream next. Maybe I'll go back to Doom. Everybody has a good day. Take it easy and uh, see y'all next time. Wait a minute. Oh, that's right. Uh, I don't think I can raid actually because for whatever reason I can't type in the Twitch chat today. Like the Twitch chat's messing up and I can't type anything in it. So I guess uh, we're not raiding anybody today. But oh well. No big deal. So, raid attempt failed, but that's okay. Maybe no, maybe some other time. Anyway, once, once again, thanks for watching, and goodbye.